historical legacy of the Romans. There are reminders of the past everywhere you go in Tarragona. The amphitheater from the second century AD was built to accommodate 14,000 spectators. This was the site of battles with gladiators and wild animals. Over 2,000 years ago, Tarragona was one of the most important military and political centers of the Roman Empire. Today's modern city is built on Roman ruins. This street, for example, was part of the Roman circus. This was the site of chariot races, which drew thousands of visitors to the city. The huge arena forms the center of the modern city. This ancient circus is one of the best preserved in Europe. It's an ideal research site for experts like the director of the city's history museum. The charioteers did seven rounds of the course. They stand for the seven days of the week. There were four teams, which represented the four seasons, and everything had a religious significance. But above all, the circus was a huge event for the citizens. The individual teams had fans, and the main interest people had was betting. Only a part of the old circus is a protected archaeological site. The rest is now covered by private houses, businesses, and restaurants. These vaults were once stables where circus visitors could leave their horses. Modern day restaurant goers must wonder how people lived here 2,000 years ago. Every year, the restaurants in Tarragona offer dishes from Roman times for a week in May. Every restaurant cooks with a lot of spices, and there is a lot of salted cod on offer. A lot of honey is used as well as dried fruits. The jewelry shop run by Juan Blasquez is a few meters away on Tarragona's main street. Blasquez has made a name for himself with intricate statuettes and extraordinary ornamental items. He takes his inspiration from different stylistic periods, ranging from Art Deco back into antiquity. He says the figures here were influenced by his childhood. As a young boy, I played in the ruins among those old stones. And I think the history of the Romans behind those stones has influenced my work. This garage contains a surprise. This is the entrance to a cave system that's several kilometers long. Construction workers discovered it in 1996. The entrance is through a small gallery which was probably used by the Romans. Researchers Jose Luis Almenana and Sergio Granados Casals lead us down 20 meters deep into the ground. The cave is one of the largest in Catalonia and has not yet been explored in its entirety. It's fantastic to be in contact with the rock and the water and to explore the cave knowing that there's a lively city full of people right above us. Sometimes you have to dive and the water is very clouded. So much so that you can't see your diving computer. That's a problem. So we have to follow a rope which we keep hold of all the time. Tourists can book guided tours of this underground world, but they have to be fit. Tarragona has something for everyone, for adventurers, history buffs, or quite simply, holiday makers, who want to enjoy its mild climate.